I will be utilizing this inexpensive roll of toilet paper to create paper utilized in the collage. This is a total experiment. I hope you'll come along and join me as we experiment with creating this collage out of a roll of toilet paper. Let me first tell you who I am. Now the first thing I shall do is put this toilet paper down on the deli sheet. The deli sheet has a slick surface. I am going to paint this paper and I am going to spritz it with some water to give it some texture. So I want something that it's not going to stick to. I'm going for horizontal and then I'm going across vertically. What you're not going to see here is I'm going to spritz this with water, then come back with four more horizontally. I got aggressive in my editing, accidentally deleted the last little step, and had deleted the file before I realized it. So bear with me. Spritzing with water, now I'll come back with another row uh, horizontally across this at four before I paint. Now, I have mixed up four paint colors. I've mixed up a green, a taupe, a mustard, a flame red, and will utilize a camel or dark brown background. I have made the paint thin by watering it down, and I'm very gingerly painting over the top of this toilet paper. Once I have this fully painted and it begins to dry, I shall flip it over and paint the back of it with a glue and water mixture, like a Mod Podge. I have completed painting four colors of toilet paper paper. The flame, the taupe, the mustard, and the green. Now for the background, I have cut watercolor paper in five inches by seven inches, and I am coating it with a card with raw umber. And I'm utilizing the card to give it some interest, some texture, just some randomness of the background. Once I get the paint on, I have some tea that I had left over from a previous project where I had emptied the tea bags and used the tea bags. And I'm going to sprinkle that tea onto the wet paint. And hopefully that will hold and that will give this background even a little bit more texture. So there's the tea being sprinkled. I'll set that aside and let that dry and start on another. Now that I have three completed, I am going to spray them with this uh, spray finish. Um, it's a matte clear, and hopefully that will hold that tea in place. And I'll set that aside and let it dry. Now while that is drying, or it has dried, I'm bringing back my paper in. This is all dry and it's actually pretty darn sturdy. Um, I think the coating the back of it with that Mod Podge like mixture, the glue and water mixture, really helped hold it together. And I am ripping it into smaller sizes to kind of utilize in patterns or just random collage on this 5x7. Now, this is total experiment. First time I've ever done this. I'm not trying to get overly creative here. I'm just trying to see if this toilet paper paper will work. So let me just kind of configure a little layout here, and then we will mod podge or glue and water that into place.
people that you see me getting out here is an encaustic art stylist. It is utilized in the encaustic art application of beeswax and Damar resin. I'm utilizing it to punch holes through my little scraps of red because I thought that would make a more interesting kind of focal point on the top of these collages. Now, when you're utilizing a heat tool with paper, please be sure to have plenty of water around. I have a fire extinguisher beside my desk. I have a tub of water sitting atop, but I did not find that this heat tool created any significant risk. Now you can use a punch to create your holes. You can utilize a piece of incense. You can utilize a um, wood burning tool. So there's all kinds of things that you could use to create these holes. Now that I have everything glued into place, I feel like there needs to be something added with a little more interest. So I pulled out some gold leaf and what I am doing here, I am applying the adhesive, the metal leaf adhesive, onto a bottle cap. And I am just going to stamp that right onto this collage. Now, I'm actually going to read the directions, and it does say to allow it to sit to become tacky before you apply the metal leaf. So I'm going to follow those instructions. Now, I've given it a moment. I'm pulling in the gold leaf and putting it where I have that adhesive in the circle. And you can see I have two other pieces up top kind of waiting to for this particular process. And I'm just punching that gold leaf down onto that adhesive. I have a dry um, fan brush here that I am just removing any of the pieces of gold leaf that have not stuck. So now I have this little gold circle atop my collage. And I've done that to all, all three of these. And two of them came out great. And the one I did not wait long enough for the glue to for the piece to dry and there was still a little bit of tackiness from when I applied the paper down. So you can see that that kind of did not represent itself the way I wanted it to. So I will accentuate that circle with a little bit of gold. So I'm utilizing the same, or not gold, with black. I'm utilizing the same bottle cap and I am just putting a little black circle inside my metal gold leaf. And that one I'm still not overly happy with, but we'll set it aside and allow everything to kind of cure and dry. To just one of these, I've poked some holes and have decided to string some copper wire through those holes. So I utilized my craft pick and just poked holes up the one edge of this collage and what you're seeing me do here is just threading that copper wire through those holes and I used a heavier gauge I picked up a heavier gauge than I thought I did and once I had started with it I decided to stay I used a 20 gauge, I would recommend a 24 gauge copper wire or wire of any choice or anything you want to string through there. If you want to string fabric, punch some holes and string some fabric through, um, that's another good application on, on a collage. You could even string um, some embroidery th floss through a needle and just sew up the edge to create a little interest. In this particular one, I chose to use the copper wire. And once I get that through, and it was a little difficult with the 20 gauge, it was just a, a little too sturdy, but I did manage to manipulate it through. And I'll trim that wire off and kind of circle it on the back so that it stays in place.
So there we go. And I'm just kind of applying some pressure to it to, to get everything to lay flat. I want to take you very quickly through this final collage um, utilizing the taupe background. So I'm just putting the taupe down with the same card application that I did before. I'm utilizing the same toilet paper <clears throat> and just tearing it into the pieces and we'll collage it into place. One of the things that I want to do is make this one very quick, very easy, very simple, but I found that I filled up, I think, too much of the others and I wanted to do one in a smaller space. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish with this final little collage. And I think that looks pretty good, but I'm going to, I think, audition some of the taupe. So I think, I think I'll settle on that. And let me get that glue down into place. Now, what I do, what I'm doing, and I didn't really um, give a clear picture of it. I don't believe in the in the beginning. But what I like to do is glue the back of the piece to kind of get it secured into place a little bit more, since this paper is kind of fragile, and then glue it all down that way, and then come back and go over the top of it with another layer of glue and water. And that kind of completes everything. So I am pulling out some stickers of butterflies and looking for stickers that have kind of the representation of the color because I think these are boring and I think they need something. So I found this little butterfly that I think is going to work well. I've auditioned a couple on these colors. And I think that one I do like. So let's get him into place. And I think that adds some value. To, to this particular project. And this project was all about creating the paper. It was all about creating the toilet paper paper to see if that would work. This is week four of the coffee cup prompt utilizing toilet paper tubes and toilet paper. We will be pulling a new prompt and next week it will be something totally different. So I have successfully completed utilizing both toilet paper tubes in previous videos and toilet paper in this particular video here. So stay tuned for a quick photo montage of how these collages turned out creating the paper as we did. Now, if you would like to see the previous three weeks of toilet paper projects, you can find those in the playlist that I have here on the end screen. I want to thank you for sticking with me through this entire video. If you are still here, your comments and likes do help promote my channel, and I do appreciate them. I do like to read them. They do um, make me feel very warm, if you if that is a, the proper terminology, but. I do appreciate you being here, and if you haven't, please subscribe, and we'll get to pulling that next prompt, and I'll see you next week at the same time with what we'll be working on for the next four weeks. Bye for now.